Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today we're here to review Mark's airport fashion. Mark has quickly become a bias for me in NCT. Just popped out of nowhere, out of the blue. Every time I watch one of their MVs, I'm just like, Mark. I've got six of Mark's airport outfits here on my laptop and I'm gonna go through, talk references, designers, silhouettes, and much, much more. And then as this is a review, I'll be rating each look out of 10, 10 wings because we're at the airport. Let's get into our first look. Our first Mark outfit is this beautiful, bold moment. I love the combination of the bright blue sweater vest with the check trousers. It is bold and you can see that there is yellow running through the check, contrasting just ever so slightly against that bright, bright blue. Starting with the sweater vest, it's really interesting. There's a lot of detail on the sweater vest that's quite minimal. It's only when you look at it that you can see it. There's this really nice thick rib going around the V-neck, around the armholes. And then you can see in the short here, it looks like it's just across the front and it's creating this really nice gather in the blue fabric. But then when you look at this shot here of him, like in the middle of the street, you can see that the rib is also going around the back. So they've put this blue side panel in to break that up. I just think that's really interesting and it makes it more complicated to create the garment. It'll be easier if you just whacked ribbing all the way around. They've done the same kind of thing on the shoulder. They've put this like, I'm gonna call it a fake epaulette because you can see that it's been sewn down. A traditional epaulette goes through a loop on the end of your shoulder and then comes back round and is fastened down with like a popper or traditionally a button. But this fake epaulette has been sewn down so it's breaking up that black rib on the armhole and the neck. I just think it's a really interesting piece. Mark's wearing his sweater vest over a black high neck sweatshirt. This would either be called just a high neck or a mock neck. It's not a roll neck because the fabric isn't rolling back down. He's then also layered a gold chain in there. I think it looks really nice. I don't think you need the gold chain. It would look really nice if it was kept clean, but I like the flash of the gold through the look. I think what I love about this the most is that Mark has gone for these tapered check trousers. It's just such a contrast against the top. It would have been so easy to go for a pair of black tailored trousers, black wide leg trousers, and it still would have looked amazing, but I love the contrast. And like I said earlier, the yellow running through the check is just very clever because it really stands out against the blue. They're the opposite sides of the color wheel. We can tell that the trousers are tapered because they're wider around the thigh and then they're coming down into that slimmer cut around the ankle and then they're worn over the top of a pair of black boots. I really like the boots. I think boots definitely work better here than a pair of sneakers. So Mark has done this perfectly. Zooming in, we can also see he's got a little Valentino belt going on. Little did I know, it was at this point, my mic for, fuck this, I'm out. Get that fire exit door and the bitch cut out for the rest of the video. I'm gonna give Mark look number one, 10 wings. I love this and the confidence you would have to put this together and wear it. It's bold, a bright color, a bold pattern. It's just such a sick combination. Mark, look number two. To me, this is just so adorable, but all of you shady bitches on the internet. <laughs> when I was researching into these looks, this kept popping up and people have been tweeting it saying, he looks like he's just missed the school bus. <laughs> and then, oh my schoolboy Mark missed the school bus and is genuinely confused. <laughs> I mean, I can see it, but I really like the silhouette of the short. The fact it's coming out in this A-line shape is just above the knee, the volume in the leg. I really like the silhouette of the short. And then to me, the top, it looks like, uh, oh my God, what's, what's the design called? One moment, please. The top to me reminds me of a designer called Gosha Robchinsky, and he is famously known for putting a lot of like, very like strong fonts on top. So he collaborated with Adidas and that is just what this is screaming. Also just the color palette of this is perfect. White, black, red, it's so strong. And then the fact that this, the font, I believe it says workshop, just in red, it makes it stand out so much. And then the black rucksack, it makes it look like there are more panels of black on the look when there's not. So I think that's really interesting. The shoe and the sock combination for me doesn't really go. The sneaker, trainer, whatever you call it, it's okay, it goes with the look, but for me it's the sock. I don't think the Tommy Hilfiger sock really works because you're bringing in 
navy to your black, white and red colour palette. If you'd just gone for a plain white sock, it just, yeah, the sock kind of kills it for me. And I know it's something so simple, like it's a fucking sock, but... Nope. I just really love this. I think the sleeves pushed up, it works really well. The sleeves pulled down, it works really well. I like the fact he's tucked it in so we get to see that full silhouette of the short. It's just, it's styled very well, apart from the sock. We, you will not be forgiven for the sock mark, okay? I think for me though, the schoolboy comments come from this shot here where he's like holding like the straps of his bag. It's kind of like, you know, like the nerdy kid pose in like the cartoons and they're like holding their bag and they're like... <laughs> I'm gonna give Mark Look 2 nine wings. I really love this look, schoolboy or not. I think it's really sick, great color palette, great silhouette. It's just that Tommy Hilfiger fucking sock. Take it off. Mark Look 3. I had to include this. This is 2017 Mark and I'm not familiar with old NCT. I always get comments about the Limitless era, check it out, like that kind of thing. I don't know if this is from that era, but I love it because it's so cute, but I'm also like, oh no, at the same time. And it definitely just makes me think of like 2017 styling. Like 2017 was all about like having a beanie, these like patchwork denim jackets, like the contrasting colors. But for me, what gets me is the bag. For me, the bag is that drawstring nylon bag that you would get from like Nike or Adidas. You would take it to PE class when you were in secondary school, so. If, if you are American and you don't understand what I'm saying, gym class in high school, PE class, physical education in secondary school. Yeah. <laughs> Mark looks super cute with the glasses and like the blonde hair, but for me, the rest of the outfit in current times, it doesn't work. In 2017, this would have been a vibe, but 2021, not so much. I think the only redeeming thing is the jacket. I think now you could take that jacket and you could style it completely different. You could go for a pair of these really like 90s cut jeans, a sick pair of shoes, and even just a white t-shirt. It would look completely different. Snatch the beanie off, snatch the PE bag away, and you would actually have a really nice look. 2017 Mark has definitely had his glow up. Looking back, it looks one, look two, the style, huh? I don't even want to think of how I was dressing in 2017, so... I'm gonna give Mark look three. I'm gonna give this six wings. It's not my favorite because it's not of the times. As I said, in 2017, this probably would have been a vibe, but that jacket is the redeeming feature, and I just love how cute he looks. Mark look four. This boy is not afraid of colour. Exhibit A of not being afraid of colour. I am obsessed with this. The neon green puffer jacket, I'm questioning whether it is maybe Prada, just looking from that flash of red on the left pocket. That is a typical way that Branda... Branda. <laughs> that is a typical way that Prada brands things. I can't believe I just said Branda. Oh my god. And what also makes me think this is Taeyong in the background of this picture. His look is full Prada. I reviewed this look in Taeyong's episode of Apple Outfit, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box if you want to check that out after this video. Back to Mark. I'm obsessed with this that bright puffer jacket and then he's got this bright blue like crossbody bag going across. It's just such a bold colour palette. And then I like the fact the rest of the look, it is whites and blues. It really works for me. We've got this high neck. This is a roll neck. You can see that it's flipping back over and rolling down. It's panelled. And then he's got that t-shirt underneath sticking out. I'm really liking this layering. It works so, so well. And then for me, I love this jean. It's definitely playing on this 90s jean trend. And the fact that you can see all of these different panels of jeans, it wouldn't surprise me if this was made out of repurposed denim because it looks like the hem of a jean at the top of these panels. I just think it's really interesting. It adds a lot of texture to the look, but it's still a very contemporary cut. Mark has then finished off his look with, I believe, a pair of Prada trainers, sneakers. Um, I'm not sure what model they are, but they just, they just give me that Prada vibe. I love this. I love this hair colour on him. And 
I just love the fact he's not afraid of colour. There's no need to be afraid of colour and pairing one colour with another colour, it always just creates such a bold look. Mark look for this has to be 10 wings. I can't score this anything less. I just rate him so much for the confidence to wear these bright, bold colours. And then that 90s fit of jean with all of the different patches. I love it. Love it. Mark look five. This is super cute. And he's got Vivian Westwood on, repping British designers. Love that for him. I love the layered look, that oversized shirt, and then we've got that contrasting orange bucket hat against that blue striped shirt. He really knows how to work colour. If you want to create a look that is really bold, really colourful, clash your colours, look at the colour wheel and whatever's on the opposite side, it will clash. Orange and blue, opposite sides. The first look, orange and yellow, opposite sides. So it's going to clash, it's going to contrast, it's going to be bold. Bold. What I like about this look is how we've got the orange bucket hat contrasting against the shirt and then the rest of the colour palette has been kept very, very clean. So we've got that white printed t-shirt from Vivian Westwood with the black orb on it. Then we've got the black shorts. I can't tell if these are like a jersey short or more of a denim short from these pictures. I can't really tell. This isn't the best quality photo, I must admit. Um, and then he's got Gucci socks pulled almost right up to the knee. They're black and nude tying into the black from the colour palette. Then he's got Prada sneakers on. This look is like the epitome of casual streetwear. The oversized layering, the jersey shorts, the bucket hat, the Gucci socks, the designer trainers. It's just like the formula for like a casual streetwear look. I really rate this. I'm going to give Mark Look 5 nine wings. I love the layering. I love the colour palette. Another great colour palette from Mark. I think when it comes to recreating this look in women's wear, it's quite easily done. I think you should take elements from the look instead of recreating it verbatim. At the moment, I keep seeing oversized white shirts laid over really cute summer dresses, and I think that would be a really great way to recreate this look in women's wear. Get your bucket hat out, put on a really cool pair of sneakers, little socks, and that is your version of Mark's look. Mark look six, our final Mark look. This is just so cute. Like the picture itself is just so cute. He looks so happy, he looks so cute. Mark loves a sweater vest. Mark fucking loves a sweater vest. I don't think I've ever done a video where someone's worn two sweater vests. This sweater vest definitely has like a granddad kind of vibe about it. And it's just the way that the knit's done. This very like geometric, like triangular knit. And then you've got that contrasting neckline and armhole, but it's tying into a blue in the knit. It's really clever. It's been laid over that oversized white t-shirt. We can see it's slightly oversized because the sleeve's coming right down to the elbow pretty much. And then both have been tucked into a pair of jeans. I've not been able to find a full shot of this, but to me looking at like the cut of the jean at the top, I'm gonna say that this is a slim cut or a skinny cut. I like the fact he's got the keychains on the belt as well. It just adds like a little something, something to the look. He's got that backpack. I think it's like the same backpack in all of his looks where he's got like, you know, the strings and he's doing like the nerdy pose in look too. I just think it's super cute. It's super casual. I love the fact that he loves a sweater vest. Sweater vests have become a big trend in menswear over the past few seasons. I've tried it myself. For me, it did not look okay. You know, I keep seeing people on Instagram with their like sweater vest tucked into their wide leg trousers and they look incredible. I tried it and was like, no. I'm going to give our final Mark look eight wings. It's only fair because I can't see the rest of the outfit, but I love this. He looks cute. He makes a cute grandpa vibe outfit and I love that for Mark. I love the fact that you can pull off a sweater vest and I can't. If you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Overall, I love Mark's style and doing this video has kind of just like pushed him up there in that buy a spot for me in NCT. He has great style, he's not afraid of colour and he really knows his silhouettes and that's just like three big things for me. Like. I stand. Please let me know in the comments what your favourite look from today's video has been. I think my favourite has to be look four with that neon puffer jacket or it has to be look two where he looks like the schoolboy who's missed the bus.
hilarious, fucking hilarious. What you should do next is go check out my NCT regular reaction. I've literally just uploaded it, it's double upload day. I'll leave a little link here as well as in the description box for you to check that out. But thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are bloody brilliant. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.